Hello and welcome to Vacations by Tiffany. I'm your go-to travel agent specializing in cruises, Disney, and more. In this episode, I'm visiting Pandora inside Disney's Animal Kingdom. This is a very unique park and one of my favorite things is seeing Divine when she is out making appearances. When she's not in the walkway, she can be hard to see, so keep your eyes open. A lot of the shows and entertainment are gradually returning to Animal Kingdom as of summer 2022. And there's still all of the great rides like Expedition Everest, Dinosaur, and the Safari, just to name a few. Among the things that have returned is the full Festival of the Lion King show. It's very popular and one of my personal favorites. But today I'm taking you to see Pandora, the world of Avatar. Walking through here you feel like you stepped right into the movie and journeyed to the distant planet called Pandora from the movie Avatar. Complete with floating mountains. This area opened in 2017 and is home to two attractions, a quick service restaurant, a snack cart, and merchandise location. Let's head over to the Navi River Journey, which is one of the rides here. There's lots of shade and fans to keep you cool while you wait in line. And if you download the Play Disney app, you can explore the world of Avatar in more detail. You can scan the surroundings and collect information about different flora and fauna that you see. As well as learn more about the characters in the Avatar movie. Before you know it, it's time for the ride. As you journey down the river, all of the glowing plants and animals come to life around you, and the Navi Shaman of Songs is there to greet you. This is all so beautiful and peaceful as you listen to the sounds of the forest and move along slowly down the river. It's a family-friendly attraction and has no height requirement. Lightning Lane is available to reserve if you purchase the Disney Genie Plus service. Or you can wait in the standby line at no additional cost. As you explore around Pandora, you'll hear the sound of drums. You and your group can play on the drums and they all make different sounds. If you're hungry, head over to the Satuli Canteen, where you can get some really good food. You pretty much can't go wrong with anything on this menu. And over the years, I've tried just about everything. I like the chili garlic shrimp or chicken bowl with the boba bubbles. There's also beef bao buns. That's probably my personal favorite. There's plant-based options and kids meals too. And just outside is a snack cart, Pongo Pongo, with a giant soft pretzel, pineapple lumpia spring roll, which is also really good, as well as frozen drinks and even a green beer. Now it's time to ride Avatar Flight of Passage, where you can also download the Play Disney app and play along as you wait in line. There are even scavenger hunts that match along with your location. And there's also two player games, which might be a great way to keep kids entertained. This ride is definitely one of the more popular ones in Animal Kingdom. So be prepared for a long wait in the standby line. However, as an alternative, at the time of this video, it is currently offered as an individual lightning lane purchase 
separate from the Disney Genie Plus purchase. I would say this is the flagship attraction of the Pandora Land, where you really feel like you're flying on the back of a banshee through all of the twists and turns and beautiful scenery of the planet Pandora. There is a height requirement for this ride at 44 inches or 112 centimeters. There are also health and accessibility restrictions that you may need to take into consideration before riding Flight of Passage. However, if you're into thrill rides, then I highly, highly recommend checking it out. It's definitely in my top five rides at Disney World. If you're looking for some Pandora World of Avatar merchandise, you'll want to visit the Wind Traders shop. Here you can find lots of neat keepsakes from your visit that you can't really find in other parks at Disney World. There's action figure toys, drums, there's lots of shirts, jackets, there's pins and magnets, reusable cups, or you can check out the whole glow-in-the-dark section. Instead of Mickey ears, you can get Navi ears. And if you want to have your very own baby banshee sitting on your shoulder, they have them in all different colors. As day turns to night, you'll see how the Pandora land really lights up and becomes a glowing forest, just like in the movie. It's very beautiful to see. All of the plants and rivers look totally different from the daytime and are really unlike any other Disney park at night. Here's a travel agent tip for you. To really get the most of all of the glowing effects, come in the winter when the sun sets much earlier than in the summertime. There's a lot more to see and do in Animal Kingdom, so be sure to check out my playlist with details about the other areas of the park. Please subscribe to my channel for new episodes all about cruising and Disney World. If you're looking for a travel agent to help plan and book your next vacation, please visit vacationsbytiffany.com to contact me. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.